Hi everyone, please excuse my rosy cheeks. I've just had my dinner. Does anyone else get like, really flushed after the beating? So, continuing on with my collection videos, I am going to film for you my MAC lipsticks. I wanted to do that separate to my other lipsticks. So let's just get cracking. And I might swatch some of them. I said that last time and I swatched all of my lipsticks. So Also, if I get a bit burpy, it's because of my hair and hair. Okay, first up, we have this one in the shade Angel, and this is a Frost formula. So it's a nice pinky tone. Let's just get a swatch. So that is it there. It is a really nice formula. It's not matte, it's not drying. It's very, very nice. This is the one I currently have in my shop, my stash. I'm going to put my sleeves up in case I get any makeup on them. I was going to grab something. I just want to put a wee bit of this on my lips. Just because they're a wee bit dry. Okay, next up. Oops. Hoping that I won't get my red ones till the end. This one is called Chili and this is a matte formula. Now, I think I got this in a latest in beauty box. So this is a red sort of tone. I don't wear these colours very often, but that is it there. So that one is called Chili. Okay, dokes. Next up, I have got Peach Stock. This is a satin formula. And it is a very, very light colour. I can't remember if it's Peach Stock or Shrimpton is, are the ones, which one of them that I picked. Because, of course, it's Sabrina had it. But I have both of those colours. What formula did I say this was? Satin. So that is Shrimpton. No. Peach Stock. See, already losing the plot. <clears throat> Next up, oh, I'll try to roll away from me. I have got, oh, I'll leave that one because that's a red one. I'll leave that one just now because it's a red one. I'm just leaving the red ones to try and do them at the end. So I have this one and this fancy packaging. And this one is called French Silk, and this is the Love Me Lipstick Collection and Formula. So this is more of a pinky, peachy sort of a shade. It's very nice. So that is this one here. I think it's looking in the bullet, obviously pink, but with a peachy tone. But when you see it there, it looks more pinky, doesn't it? So there's that one. There, let's just give her hands a wee clean. <clears throat> Get my wee towel. Had to shut the window again because the wind is getting up again. I don't know if we're in for more storms or what. Then we have this one, which is in a different packaging. Like this is the normal packaging, but look at this one, it's like more of a matte finish so this is in the shade sultry move and this is a powder powder kiss formulation so it's another nude one but as you can see i don't know how to it almost looks like it's that kind of formula as well so that is the shade sultry move again i think i might have got this in a box as well. Then we have some of their limited edition ones that they no longer have. This is from, <clears throat> excuse me, the Cherry Blossom range. And if you don't know, I love Cherry Blossom. Obsessed. So I had to pick them up, but I actually got them from ASOS. So this is Wagasa Twirl, and it is a matte formulation. Not my favourite type, but 
it's very pink. I got it more for the collectors side of it to be honest. So that is it there. A very pink pink, but it's got like a mauvey undertone I would say. So there's that one. And then the other one is called High Fructes and this is also matte and it is another pink tone. They had a darker one as well but I didn't get that one. So that one there I would say is more pink. I would say this one has more of a mauve undertone to it. So that's them little gems. Then we have got this one here. This is the shade Daddy's Girl and again it's in the Love Me Lipstick range and it is a nice pinky nude. These are really really moisturising. So that's this one here. As you can see with these being matte formulations and then this one's a more moisturising on my back. My back. I want your back good. Oh. Right. And then we have got Shrimpton and this is a satin formulation. So another very neutral one. So that is Shrimpton there and this one, this one, this one. That was the Oh, is it snowing? No, it's raining. So this one is shrimped in. I want snow, people. It's not fear. Okay. Then we have got... This one is called Yash, and this is a matte formula. Again, a nude. And that is Yash there. You can tell a, a theme, it's either browny sort of neutral shades or it's pinky ones. Then we have got Velvet Teddy which is a matte and I'm sure you'll all have heard of this called Classic. This is the shade here. And that is it there, Velvet Teddy, this one right here. I think it looks different on everybody. God, that was very glass we do me there, wasn't it? Everybody. Let me just remove the swatches from the end. To be honest with you, my lips haven't been as dry as they normally are, but I do find that when I wear a matte lipstick, it does cling to every single line on my lips, which is not a good look. Then we have this snazzy packaging. It's almost like the oil slick packaging. This one is called Nothing to Wear and it's in the Cream Sheen formula. Cream Sheen. Cream Sheen is my favourite MAC formula. And I love this lipstick so much. Look at that tone. It's to die for. And this is just the most gorgeous lipstick. Look at that. That's a bit of me. Oh, I've got a really itchy nose, gonna get angry. Another one of these ones. This one is called Pure Nonchalance and this is the Love Me Lipstick range as well. And this one is a more purpley mauve tone. So pretty, look at that. Oh, I love it. I love it a lot. Oh, my goodness. Then, my last one of these ones to show you. This one is As If I Care. And it is this more red and berry-ish. Tone. There's loads more in this range, but these are the ones that I have. It almost looks like mad pink, right enough. So yes. Oh my god. 
oh let's go for this one I have this gold packaged one because if you've never heard of the makeup artists Pixie Woo, they no longer do YouTube anymore. In fact, I'm not entirely sure what they do. And they did do Real Techniques brushes, but I think they've stepped away from the company. I'm not entirely sure. Anyway, Nick and Sam, they both brought out their own lipstick with MAC. And I didn't get Sam's one because it was a red, but I got Nick's one. And it's just called Nick Chapman. And again, I think this is a cream sheen, yeah. This is an absolutely stunning lipstick. And as you can tell from the colours that I've shown you so far, it is very much a me shade. Look at that. Yes, please. So I have that one. Oh, there's fluff. Like, floating about. It must be off that white. Okie dokie dokie then. Then we have got Modesty, which is a cream sheen formulation. Again, similar colour. Can't have enough. And that is it here. So that is Modest Drone. My back. Falling apart. And this one is Peach Blossom and this is a cream sheen. Look peachy. I mean, I suppose. Does that look peachy? It's very, very sheer, this one. But these are the kind of lipsticks I love. I know they don't last long on your lips. You have to keep applying them, but oh, they sing to me. If Jacqueline tries, it would say, it sings to my soul. And then I have Honey Love, which is a matte lipstick. And again, I bought this one because Anna Sacconi from the Sacconi Jolies used to wear it all the time. And I'm like, if she wears it, I need it. And now I don't even think she she wears it. She wears Kim KW by Charlotte Tilbury, which I need to get. So that is it there. Honey Love. Another big favourite with a lot of people. Right, let me just get these off my end. I went through a stage of just loving, loving, loving to collect MAC lipsticks, but I haven't bought any in a long time. Next up, we have got Twig, which is a satin. I think I also got this in some sort of subscription. So it's like a berry tone. Again, I don't know if this suits me. It's like a... Like, it looks really red on camera. But when I look at it here in my hand, it's got that kind of brown undertone to it. So, there is that one. Then we have got Faux, which is a satin. Again, another neutral tone. So that one there is Fawn. Is it Faux? F, what is it? F-A-U-X. F-A-U-X. Is that Faux? Is that how you see it? Faux. That is stunning as well. I need to wear that one more often. And then we have Brave, which is a satin. Very nice. And this one is Brave. So it's like a pink, pink toned lip stuck. And then we are moving on to some of my favourites. I actually feel like I need to take those swatches off my hand so that we can get to my favourites. So basically, if I was to get to the stage where I was just going to have my favourite MAC lipsticks instead of a collection of them, some of these are my absolute favourites. So this one is a cream sheen formula and it's called Shanghai Spice. And I absolutely love this. It is this gorgeous, peachy, peachy gorgeousness. And I adore it. I love it. I love the way it looks when I wear it. It is very sheer, as I say, because it is a cream sheen formula. But I love it and I love the undertone. Love it. So that's one I would 
get time and time again. Another one is Blankety, and this is an amplified formulation. Another nude. This is amazing as well. Love it so much. And that is Blankety. Blankety, blank, blankety, blank. Love it. And then this is my second one of this shade. This is set up and this is a luster formula. It is gorgeous. Let's have a swatchy swatch. Oh my goodness, look at that. Isn't that just gorgeous? I absolutely love it. So, those are three that I would definitely have in my collection forever. And this one. I hope they never stop making this one. This one's got the red on it because the Viva Glam lipsticks, some of the funds when you buy it go to AIDS charity. This is Viva Glam too. Oh my god. It's the best. Look at it. I absolutely love it so much. Look at that. Beautiful. <clears throat> and then the next one that is another favourite is a luster formula and this is in the shade Patisserie. There's a running theme on colours, I know. But... And that is it down there. Patisserie. So these are my absolute favourite ones that I would highly recommend if you like the same kind of lipstick formula and tones as me and I would get time and time again. Okay, let's swatch the two reds that I have. I have got Ladybug which is a luster. So let me just swatch this for you. So that is Ladybug. It's more of a sheer formulation of red lip. So we have that one. And then I have Brave Red, which is a cream sheen formulation as well. And I'll swatch that right beside it just to show you the difference in tone. So this one's Ladybug. And this one is Brave Red, which I would say has got more of a pink undertone to it. So there you go. That is all my MAC lipsticks. Let me know in the comments what MAC lipsticks you like and which ones you think I should try if I ever get around to being able to get another lipstick. Are any of those ones there that I said were my favourite? Are they your favourite? Let me know in the comments. If you did enjoy this video, <laughs> if you did enjoy this video, please hit the like button, subscribe to my channel, click the bell to be notified of when I next upload and I will see you next time. Bye.